Howard, you could call it an overnight census. An attempt will be made tonight to count homeless people around the area and around the state to try to better understand the scope of the homelessness problem. Now, a majority live their lives unnoticed in their community. So this count is also aimed to raise local and national awareness. Fox 11's Mark Leland takes a closer look for us. And so this is one of the many hidden places around the Fox cities where homeless individuals spend the night. They tuck themselves away under bridges, in the woods, and in parks and discarded mattresses, blankets, or on the bare ground. Under a bridge. That's normally where I go. And I usually I, <clears throat> I would muse up all night. Right now I'm a little tired because it's tough. I have no place to go. Brian Schelke has been homeless in Appleton for the past year after losing his job. He is one of an estimated 400 or so individuals living on the streets or in shelters in the area. The only way to know for sure is to count. Here in the Fox City, some 55 shelter workers and volunteers will be scouring the area, looking under bridges and in parks to try and get an exact number of those who are homeless. At times, it can be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Chris Layshock is a case manager for the emergency shelter of the Fox through. Valley. He's organizing the local biannual count. Similar operations will take place in communities around the state. Uh, illustrate the need hopefully making us eligible for, for more funding. Volunteers will use the opportunity to connect individuals with resources to help, offering them food and bus vouchers, and more importantly, information to get them back on their feet. If it wasn't for the shelter, I think I would be sleeping in the park, and I mean, I have to count my blessings because they really have saved me. But some of those on the street don't believe exposing the problem has helped. In my honest opinion, I don't, I don't think it is, because I don't think Congress takes this homeless situation seriously. And it's clear to Layshock whatever number they do come up with, it won't possibly represent the entire homeless picture. In Appleton, Mark Leland, Fox 11 News. The homeless count will begin tonight at 9 o'clock and continue until 6 tomorrow morning. The information will then go into a report and be given to local, state, and federal officials.